Instagram today. Somehow I was able to figure it out. Yeah. I've made it to Kukenhof and let's just say most of the flowers are already at the tail end of their life for this year. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the different greenhouses and see as much as I can before heading back to central Amsterdam. I do have an appointment for a museum, um, contemporary art museum in, it's called Foam. So yeah, let's check it out. And even if most of them are pretty much wilted, I think it is still worth coming here. The colors are still so vibrant and it's arranged in such a beautiful way that I don't think I'll ever see something like this in my lifetime if not for Kukenhof. So I'm really happy that I still came and I'm happy that they still let me in even if I was an hour late. So everything just worked out smoothly and yeah. It is a little bit of a challenge taking pictures alone, but you know, we make do. I like that even if it's not like the weather isn't optimal, it doesn't take away from the experience of coming here and seeing the flowers in full bloom. successfully navigated the tram system. I don't know why the trams are extra intimidating to me for no real reason other than they're just trams.
shopping and it's just like a blackout in that Primark. I think that was my first time entering one and it's really inexpensive so I went kind of crazy. And now I'm paying for it because my bag is so heavy. <sighs> but I'm on my way to my friend's house now. It's about 30 minutes so yeah I have time to chill. friend's house and she showed me around and of course I met the famous Charlie. I remember when she first got him and now he's so big now. It's really nice walking around their neighborhood. It's not in Amsterdam but it is in a suburb and it's so convenient and there's so many rooms actually. <laughs> they also have a cat named Mali here. I'll show you. Hi! Mali! Mm. Where the camera is, he knows where the camera is. Do you want that's all there was to it? Oh, my mother was very aggrieved about it. For the first time, I left the office, went along to Armory House, and there was. I'm not over how big she is. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gladys. You guys have seen her in a previous vlog. She visited me in Tokyo and now I'm visiting her in Amsterdam. Much sooner than both of us anticipated, but we're both here. I have no idea. <laughs> this is Charlie. He saw him yesterday. He was my welcoming committee. Bye. 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 Enjoy. I'll be back by 7 for dinner. So cute. Guys, good morning. It's my only full day in Amsterdam. I literally knocked out after I went shopping in Primark yesterday. That's never really happened to me. We're gonna catch a train and we're gonna head into central Amsterdam. I feel like Amsterdam is like you're living in a simulation almost. Like it's so small. Public transport is just as efficient or maybe even more efficient than Japan. Everyone's on a bike. The streets are quite clean compared to Paris. So I really like Amsterdam. Like I wouldn't mind if I stayed here for an extended period of time. The only caveat is that it is quite expensive. So given the opportunity, I think I would like to explore more. And the people here are very friendly. So anyway, let's go to the station. Walking to the brunch spot now. It's really rainy. It's a good thing I didn't rent the bike today. It's just gloomy, but it's okay because we're going to museums today. Just to, I don't want to feel too overwhelmed. And I have to be home by 7 because I'm going to have dinner with Gladys, her husband Mauro, and her mom. And I feel so like lucky that she's so kind. So, yeah. <laughs> just finished brunch it was such a popular brunch restaurant like when I got there there were a few groups waiting ahead of me and I could tell why the servings are huge
Nowadays apartments of course, there's gardens on the back and they are priceless, expensive. Alright, here on the left hand side we have the Fleet Market of Amsterdam, Waterloper. And when you are bicycle is stolen here in Amsterdam, you can probably find it back a little bit later. Here. You are standing straight. I don't know because of the whiskey. <laughs> you can find back in Paris. Now this is for the marijuana. Eh? Around 180 we have here in Amsterdam and only 5% of that is for the Amsterdam people who use recreation and the other rest for the tourists. For you. <laughs> Thank you. 